everyone this is a question on square and square root the question is find the smallest number by which 147 must be multiplied so that becomes a perfect square also find the square root of the number so obtain so 147 is not a perfect square number we have to multiply with the smallest number so that 147 will become perfect square once we're done we have to find out the square root of that number so they're asking two questions here now how to do this Whenever they ask you to find the smallest number or least number to be multiplied or divided, we are going to find the prime factorization of this number. If you have to use a prime factorization, we are going to use a division method here. And we are going to find the prime factors of this number. And then it will it is like uh, easy to find out the answer after that. So we have 147 first. Now when we are using a prime factorization, we remember to use only prime numbers. We have to find out the prime factors here. So we are going to start with 2 because 2 is an even prime number. But 147 is not divisible by 2. We are going to move on to the next number which is 3. We will check if 3 is divisible. Uh, like 3 can divide 147. So yes, it is going to divide 147. So here we have 14 first, right? So 14 is not divisible. I am going to take the less number that is 12. So 3 4s is 12, right? So I am going to write down 12 here. So one more way of checking the answer is you can add the individual numbers in individual digit. And if the sum is divisible, the whole number is divisible by 3. So 14, it doesn't go. So 3, 4 is a 12. 2 is a remainder. I'm going to write this along with 7 is so a 27. So 3, 9 is a 27. Now 49 doesn't go in 3. I'm going to take the next prime number which is 5 doesn't go. So I'm going to take 7. 7 is a 49 and 7 ones are 7. So here 147 can be written as, write on all the prime factors. It is 3 times 7 times 7. Now, if the number was a perfect square number, 147 is not perfect square. If it was perfect square, the prime factors what we got will always be in a pair. You can see that they are not in pair here because this number is not a perfect square. Only we have one pair which is 7. We got a one pair of 7 but this 3 is a single. If there is another 3, it is going to form a pair and this number can become a perfect square number. So what is missing here? 1, 3 is missing here. So gonna, if I multiply it with 3, then I'm going to get the pair for 3. So smallest number to be multiplied here is 3. So I'm going to multiply 3 on both the sides here. So it's very simple. The number which is missing or number which is not in a pair, that number will become a smallest number. So you're going to multiply 3 on both the sides. Like I'm going to have to multiply with the given number and on the right side where the factors are written. So 147 times 3 is equal to 3 times 3. It, form, it forming a pair here and 7 times 7. Now, just multiply 147 and 3. When we multiply these two numbers, we'll get the answer. Okay, so let me conclude the answer. So, smallest number to be multiplied here is 3. So, once it's done, I'm going to find out the square root of this number. So, smallest number to be multiplied is 3. Now, we're going to find out the square root of this number. So, 147 multiplied by 3 when you do it. You will get the answer like 3 7 is a, is a 21. So let me rewrite this. So 147 times 3 is 3 7 is a 21. And then 2 will be carried. 12 plus 2 is 14. And 3 1 is a 3 plus 1 is 4 441. So 441 is a number. And when we find out the square root of, of this number, it will be equal to 21. So let me rewrite this once again. So 1 441 is equal to 3 times 3 times 7 times 7 so you can see that now the factors are in pair so 441 is a perfect square number we're going to find out the square root of it so square root of 441 is equal to from each pair we'll take one factor so from this pair i'll write 1 3 and from the next pair i'll write 1 7 now multiply this so 3 7s are 21 so square root of 441 is 21 square root of 220, 441 is 21 so it's very simple uh, once you got the prime factors pair them and from each pair you take one factor and multiply so that's it i hope this question is clear in case you have a question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching